Hi everyone, I'm so glad to be here. I was just uh, starting to do the second Flocker's Friendship journal page and <coughs> I see that um, I s realized I had not turned on the camera. So I'm just going to remove um, this part of the napkin um, To begin with, this um, this ephemera and painted papers and all this beautiful um, stuff was sent to me by Gloria Schmidt, and she is she is the person who loves cats, and you can tell this by these beautiful images that she sent about cats and kitties and okay so we'll we'll go for that to begin with and this is going to be um, I need to make sure that we have a fold here I may need a fold if not I'm just I'll just I'll just use it as is. So this is um, a napkin, a beautiful cat napkin. <laughs> and I'm going to put it down with this Mod Podge. I just use instead of my brushes, I'm gonna check my viewfinder again. Where am I? I don't know. There it is. I'm just going to, I just uh, used a bit of water on this brush and instead of my my water brushes um, for a change. I couldn't find my water brushes quickly enough for me so I hope that this is going to go well so I'm going to start off with some homemade Mod Podge that I made with Elmer's glue and a little bit of water this is probably thicker than I would have liked but it, it's fine It'll um, it'll work just fine, and Gloria is just, you know, you may remember that while she was here. She's from out of the country. She actually lives right now, I guess, in in Germany. But she's from a lovely place called Costa Rica. And she is someone who just really, she's just lovely, gracious. And at one point she I was looking for some certain things. We went to Savers. Jane, Jane Sills and Gloria Schmidt and I went to Savers, which is a, Jane knows how to say it better than I do. Um, it's a thrift store that has everything, so. That's what it is. Okay, I'm gonna have a lot of crinkles in this, but like they say, it just makes great texture and it does. So I'm not gonna worry about it. My dog is uh, worried about something outside, so you may hear her bark in just a moment. And I hope not, because she can be really loud. But 
<laughs> so I'm just going to pat this down a little bit. I really want to get all of the beautiful images that this napkin had in this area of the cat. And then to go with these beautiful images, Gloria painted some lovely flowers. She put stickles on them. I think she used stickles. And so I can just place these around at different places. I'm going to do this very carefully because the napkin is still wet. And I don't want to tear it. Regular Mod Podge, which I have a tiny bit, will, mine is matte, this kind, um, it will dull down the glitter in the, on the flowers here, so I don't want that to happen. And she just did these, uh, it looks to me like she did these flowers on telephone book, maybe. So that's pretty cool. So some people might wonder, why do you pay such attention to the kind of paper that you use or, or types of um, junk mail or loose papers that you use. Why is that so important? Well, the reason is, I can tell you this from experience, nothing stays the same. Nothing in the whole wide world ever stays the same. And so how my telephone number looked growing up is very different than how telephone numbers look now, for one thing. It was um, a dial phone, a rotary dial phone in a, in a wonderful avocado green. Oh, it's curling. I don't want that to happen. And so nowadays, my phone is this little black box that I'm also using as a camera, right now even. And, you know, changes like that are amazing. I can use this little phone for anything that I might want a computer for, and I have been doing that for the last few years. I haven't had a computer for the last few years. So, I have some beautiful things here that um, Gloria included, and one is, these are, I think, tea bags, and she made a little tag, decorated both sides of it, and it's the perfect size for these, these tea bags, and these are wonderful. <laughs> I just think they're wonderful. This is the back side. I don't see that the back side opens. But maybe it does on places, but the front side definitely opens here and here. And these all make what we call tuck spots. You can tuck things in there. So I will want to be putting that on very soon. And this tag, beautiful. And so for right now, I'm going to, um, let's see, I think I'll put this other napkin down as well. I love the colors that Gloria chose. 
<clears throat> I love them because I guess you could I guess I could say they're my favorite colors too. I don't know. Let me check and make sure you can see what I'm doing. Oh yeah. So without, I better move that. I'm just a little too daring sometimes. Well, daring is one way to say it. It's more like I don't watch carefully <laughs> what I'm doing and think through the consequences. So this is one layer that comes off and it comes off pretty easily, but I'm feeling this and I'm thinking there's another layer here. So I'll try to get it off, but what happened on the other napkin, the cat napkin? Get it? Cat napkin? Um, I had to use tape, and tape is another way that you can take it off, so I'm just going to use that right now. And you put a piece of tape and gently pull back, and the tape will remove the next layer. Isn't that cool? So now I've removed two layers, and um, generally napkins will have two layers. So I need to kind of take a look at how, how much of this napkin might be needed for maybe this top part. So I'm just going to go for that <clears throat> top part. And I'll go a little bigger than necessary because I might I might uh, need more. And the napkin will glue down beautifully because the feathered edges, like these are, um, they might be called beveled edges, but to me, how it comes out, came out right there, they look feathered. They blend into the background of the paper that you're gluing them onto beautifully. It's just, uh, it's just a lovely, <clears throat> way to do things so I'm just gonna put the glue down here up in this corner so I'm being really generous I may be too generous with the glue here I want to make sure it's all covered as well do that part too. See how this napkin is more or less, because it's a similar color, which is white on white, um, <clears throat> it just blends into the paper so beautifully. Okay, let's see here. This is a one chance deal, so you need to kind of make sure that what you've got going is what you want to do. And um, there's very little hope or no hope to pulling a napkin up once you've got it glued down. And so it's good to keep that in mind when you're when you're uh, collaging napkins to make sure about how it is 
going to go down. Up here is is extra, so I'm just going to leave that alone. I'll cut it off when it's dry. And I've got little pieces that have floated off. They don't bother me, but if they did, I would just take them off right now before they dried. This one even goes down onto the kitty cat. I don't care. I would have left it except for the sake of this video I wanted to show you. So there we go. I just want to make sure that it's good to go. Okay. And before the She just included all these beautiful pieces. These beautiful pieces. I she did this. This is um, there's a special name for it. It's crochet, but um, it's with really really tiny thread. Like you would normally use yarn for crochet. Well, this is different. So I just want to put a couple of her little crocheted pieces up there and I did get on the kitty and then we have this beautiful doily that matches everything. Some gorgeous yarn and some embellishments here that, you know, they're just going to complete this beautiful collection of pictures. There are many things here to include. Many, many and I want to make sure that I include them all. Um, there's far more than I can use just right now at this time, but I want to use as much as I can. And since this is such a beautiful color, I want to I want to cut it in two if I have my scissors here, which I don't. They're at my chair. I'll be right back.
You may have noticed that I don't I don't use baby wipes right now at this time. And the reason for it is they're they're um, they cost a couple pennies. And um, what costs less are paper towels that you use and reuse. And then you can um, take a new one after you're done using the paper towel you can take a new one and soak it with water or even soapy water and use it to clean up for me i'm i'm such a such a a random person i just i don't know i just put it on there i don't know if these are stickers or not Yes, they are. Woohoo! Um, <clears throat> you know, when I'm planning on sitting down to do to do my uh, page, I don't really think about. I wonder if these are not what I think they are. Stickers, stickers, or you know, I think they might be rub-ons. I need to wait for that to dry if they're rub-ons, and these would be the same type of thing. And, and they're just beautiful. They're from the paper studio. So I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait on both of those for now. I'd, I'd like to be putting them right in here. I'm gonna check and see how much time has gone by. 22 minutes, so that's pretty good for a video. And I'll be finishing this um, probably with you tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you later.